see a lot of people on YouTube talking about their morning routine. So let's see if we can get this right here. Show you guys, show you guys how to do it. Ready for this? Aaron Bewley's morning routine. <clears throat> Pretty sweet, right? Let's do this. All right, we're here. We're gonna do the uh, the QBR today. You like my little flower? <laughs> and my badge is not gonna work again. It's all right, I got you. Um, I'm gonna open up this, this um, session by just delivering a few facts about business. Not only is VXRail growing year over year um, dramatically, but it's actually growing twice as fast as the market. And I think that is a significant achievement. Wade from behind takes it away. Chalmers, pull, dings! Whoa! All right, Adam, yeah. give me a rundown. How'd that go? <laughs> that was a full day. Here, take, I can tell you that right now. That was ridiculous. That we, was a uh, super full day. Adam wanted the camera off so he could talk about other things or not talk, which means the camera needs to be on. <laughs> That's what people care about. They care about the things that uh, are behind the scenes. The things we can't publish. And then sometimes the what the trying the conjoined triangles of success. <laughs> and then if I'm I totally hear, presenting that. If I just hear to mock the, one just more mock the, person the say this is an eye chart, i.e., I don't care if you understand <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what they're saying. I don't care about what I'm saying. And this guy's passionate you. about PowerPoint. And neither but he's should right. you. Don't care. That's right. If here's, you're a ever bunch, here's a bunch of text on a square. Yeah. What do you think? You, you just turned your audience's brains off when you do that. It hurts me. Don't say the words, this is an eye chart. Yeah. Don't say it, yeah. because if you say it, that means you've got garbage. <laughs> don't present garbage. 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 I don't understand. All right, personal branding. What are your thoughts on that? Personal branding, and so by that you mean uh, people, you're, gonna, you're going to help people get to know you that can't spend a lot of time with you. Is that what you mean by personal yeah. branding? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. You, okay. I mean, that's a that's a big piece of it, right? Right. You're gonna you're gonna help people get to know you in a real way, in a true way. Yeah. Uh, not inflating yourself or yeah. making yourself, but you're gonna help them get to know you, even though they'll have limited face-to-face -face interactions with you and they can't know you um, that well. Yeah. So some of it's ref like refining. Or, or go ahead. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. So what what messages are you going to post to huge audiences? Right. Yeah. So it's not just your presentations, but obviously, since anyone can publish to an unlimited audience size now with social media. Uh, then you've, I, I think you have to be, you have to be really choosy. Uh, now, I, I've chosen just <laughs> to pull, to, to pull to back. I have it, yeah. too many children. Well, I think um, that's the default for a lot of people. It, is it just is. to disengage and, and not do it. That's right, because you don't think it's valuable, or you don't think anybody wants to hear from you, and that sort of thing. But which it, is it, false. Which is probably false if you're an expert in your field, and by this, by the time you're. Um, you know, in, in your mid thirties, that's you ought to have had fifteen years in your industry. You ought to be pretty good at a couple of things, right? But it, I think it does require instead of just posting anything that comes through your mind stream of consciousness, you have to curate the value there, right? So yeah. don't make people look that's for right. it. If you record a hundred minutes of footage, you need to post three and just make it the three best and make it the three truest to who you are. So, the, are you saying my vlogs are too long, Adam? No, I'm not. You don't what even I, watch my vlogs. What it I am matter. saying. What I am saying is that curate the value. And, That's right. No, it's so true. And also the the human aspects, right? So people do if they're going to work with you, if they're going to hear from you on X, Y, and Z as an expert, it, it seems that they want to know a little bit about who you are, what your passions are. Yeah. Um, outside of that, so I've tried to like you know, social as I get is LinkedIn, but I've tried on my LinkedIn profile to at least in that one paragraph of text I get. That's not my resume. Yeah. Uh, to tell people, hey, here's the things I do on a weekly basis. Here's the things I'm passionate about outside of um, transforming IT departments, which I love to see them simplify and focus on the high value work and helping people um, do more and more valuable work. So um, I talk about mentoring college students and I talk about helping people with personal finance just because it's a passion and uh, that I have to get help people get control of things and apply to some wisdom to, to their circumstances. So. I think it's useful and I think it's a strength I can use at work too, right? Because I genuinely care um, yeah. about not just these customers buying the craft that we have on the truck um, today, 
but uh, about them planning and, and executing on their vision, being successful. So what you just succinctly did was um, describe the things that matter to you. There you go. And the things that you're going to be about. Oh, my elevator pitch. There. So, Who are you? Yeah, exactly. That's I mean, that's what it is. There you go. Yeah, but I think that's it. I think you, people are looking for a genuine who, who you are. And then if people are going to get to know you, you're going to have to interact with a lot of people really quickly at work. And this is something I've helped younger people with too. Like, hey, listen, you need to get some questions ready. If you're in it, in like this situation we're about to go into with people with literally, there's going to be 60 people in this room. I'm going to randomly sit next to four of them that will be able to hear me. And I need to be able to talk about some things so we don't just sit there and shovel food in our mouth right yeah. and so I'm gonna ask them what, what I like to do I'm gonna ask them what they do I'm gonna ask them about their family I'm gonna ask them uh, about their issues at work I'm gonna ask them about uh, where they came from and, and their passions and their sort of their path to get here yeah because they are really uniquely invested and everyone has this really unique path and we're in a time of just crazy change here and so I do want to care about the people and show I care about the people uh, that I work with, even if I get fired tomorrow, which I hope not. Uh, but if I, if I get fired tomorrow, I'm going to see some of these people again, regardless. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, yep. Recently. What do you think of my flower that I wore today? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. A flower in your buttonhole. Did your wife make yeah. that? What is that? No, it was actually delivered with the uh, the jacket. I have not worn it with the jacket before, uh -huh. but I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw that flower, flower on there for this in the trip. Buttonhole. Very Amia. Very very yeah. Europe. Very yeah. good. I don't know if it fits my personal branding though. Am I a flower in the buttonhole kind of guy? <laughs> I, I would like I would like you to be. Um, I don't know. I think I don't know how I feel about it. Are. I mean, yeah, <laughs> in my heart I am. You definitely are in your yeah, heart. Yeah. Uh, I'm I would a wear I would wear suspenders if it were socially acceptable. <laughs> but See, it's that's not. my thing. Like, it's not. I don't think you have to worry about what social. You do have to worry about what's socially acceptable. Yeah. But how far outside of that? What, are you willing yeah, to go? what yeah. I love is people, you know, talking about personal branding. You bring your personable, positive style, which That's I learned right. from you. That's a yeah. phrase that you told me, uh, I think, twelve years ago. I can't tell you how many people have stolen that phrase off of my resume. Boom! I gave them, I gave you credit each time. I use strong, accountable leader. I, I stole yes, it from your father. From my dad. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, um, I think it's the, true. Uh, there, there's a, there is a thing to the whole personal branding where. Um, you're flashy, right? Um, sure. There was this girl on Twitter Memorable. that was talking about... Yeah, yeah. Memorable. Yeah, so she's a software developer, and she finally got which, up the courage... Which software developers are known for their pizzazz. That's true. They are known for their pizzazz. <laughs> so maybe a bad example. Sitting in the dark room, alone, yeah, but, writing code. But, so she, she works in this group, and she finally got up the courage to... She has this pink keyboard that she uses at home. Pink I'm sorry. Keyboard, sorry, pink go headphones. back. There's a female software developer? Yes. <laughs> on the internet? Yes. They exist. They exist. <sighs> okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, no, but I was applauding her because she was like, hey, I finally got the courage to bring my pink keyboard to, to work. To it work. makes me happy. It's right? I love it, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's per part of her personal branding. It's there great. I use you know fountain pens exclusively. Yeah. If someone hands me a ballpoint pen, I throw it on the ground and step yeah. on it. It's yeah. trash. It's part of your branding. So it's like thinking through all those things. There's a guy, um, Corey Minton, who, you know, a lot of people do this, but um, Corey has started presenting in, um, like, maybe punchy t-shirts that are relevant to what we do sure in a, in a suit jacket yeah. and some like you know maroon corduroy pants or something like that sure. but Memorable. he stands out and he pops right um and and it's great and i think there's way too many people that undervalue that sure right um well if, if you're not yeah. memorable you're not memorable it doesn't yeah. matter what your message is so yeah. to a degree so i think that's kind of tough for some people because um, I, I, I focus on trying to do that and be that. Right. And then if someone comes to me and they're, they're like, hey, can you help me out with this? I struggle with how to say, That's hey. Right. Wake up and get some passion first. Yes. Yeah, get some passion. I can't help you until you wake up and get some passion. Get some fire in your britches yeah. is what you need. And yeah. figure out what you stand for. Like what right. you were talking about with your with your paragraph on LinkedIn. Yeah. Sit down and figure out like, this is going to sound really dumb, but like what what words describe me? What What kind of like... There is colors some, and vector art and yeah, yeah. like there's some introspection brand about yourself yeah there's some introspection and, yeah. and you're right and, and it's that's why they call it branding right you don't necessarily need your own logo right uh, or your own business personal business card though i do uh, at one point i did have my own yeah. personal calling cards yeah. but um and you have to i i think and i'm probably an extreme example because i've had 13 full-time roles in 13 years um so my wife feels super um uh, just safe and protected 
but uh, most of them are in promotions. But <laughs> you have to kind of be okay with, hey, listen, this is what I'm going to carry with me. No matter what my job is today, yeah. in five years, I will not have the same job as today. In fact, uh, the average is now, if in 3.2 years, you will not have the same job you have today. So it can't be something that's just this job Pacific. Right. It's specific, Pacific, Atlantic. <laughs> it's got to be, what is, what is me? What is my personality? What do I yeah. really care about that I'm going to care about in five and ten years that I cared yeah. about five and ten years ago? So, yeah, don't don't make it like I'm super passionate about the product I have today. Right. Right. Yes. That yeah. product's gonna don't change. Don't make it that. If you're in tech, that product you sell today, five years from now, it's gone. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. exist. Yep. I might overdo that a little bit because I am a little bit passionate about it. Um, I think sometimes people like if they see VXRail, they may equate it to me. But yeah. Um, As well, they should. I'm not trying to do that. That's not what I'm trying to do for my brand. Although maybe it looks like it because I bought a VXRL license plate. There's Brezzo. The grill bar. Go down to Singapore and get those guys by Brown. Greater China. I was looking inside. I saw some of the people like boot camp that are doing their own sessions. Oh, we didn't miss the sunset. Sunset over Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond with the burnout. Oh, this is one lane here. Do you think I can take this lady in a Chevy? Yep. Yes, you can. I don't think I have a lane. I just instantly get into her lane. It's really up to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mean about it. This guy is ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh